spray these onions. It's much like garlic grating, but with bigger bits. So that's my first time doing it, but we're going to see how we go. So instead of getting two pieces of garlic, like I would um, do a garlic braid, I'm going to start off with three pieces of onion. And I'm just going to tie the first lot together just to make it a little bit easier. Now you can wait, them, wait for them to go a little bit more brown, but I want to get these off my bench, so I'm going to start today. Okay, so you got your three pieces of, of onion. You want to put your next one on top and hook it around. with a piece of garlic, a um, piece of onion stalk there. Okay, next piece. Basically, you're just twisting um, one of the onion stalks that's already down, um, laying down. And you're gonna twist it around with one of the other ones. thing about this is that you can place them anywhere you like. Wherever it looks better, you don't have to go um, side to side. You can just place them where you think it looks the best. The disadvantage of doing it while it's so green is that you're going to get shrinkage. So I really just want to hang these up and get them out of my way. Here's my finished onions hanging up to cure. Over here, I've got the beetroot, the pudding jars. Here are the rest of the onions that I'm going to turn into pickled onions. We haven't got many carrots left. We're going to eat them for lunch today. They're not cooked. And here, I made some sauerkraut using kale, beetroot, carrot, a savoy cabbage. Let that ferment for a few weeks and we can start eating it. And here are the rest of my onions soaking in brine so I can pickle them tomorrow. We noticed that the last sheep to have lambed, a small sheep, the name's actually Rochelle. I thought it was Polly, um, but that's a different sheep. <laughs> Whoopsies! Um, Rochelle has been kicking her lamb off. She won't let it suckle or nurse from it, so we've had to hold her um, so she could, so the baby lamb could have a drink.
have you guys ever had issues with a, a mama sheep rejecting a lamb? Do you have any advice for us? Would you just bottle feed it? Don't really want to bond too much with this lamb because it's a boy and we usually eat the boys. And he's quite small and his mum's quite small and we don't think he would make a good breeding stock so we can't even leave him entire for someone else to use as a ram or a stud. So we don't really know what to do. Uh, we might keep on persisting, um, trying to get them to bond, holding mum so she'll kind of um, fall into her role as a mum more easily. Um, we think she might be a first year mum. She's a lot younger than um, all the other sheep here. You can tell by her teeth. So we don't know if it's just lack of experience or just not interested. Anyway, that's it from us tonight, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow.